Well, we have a special guest on the podcast today, Miss Lily Lou. Yep, she's in here. It's all warm, nice and warm. She's got her heater. She had her heater going. We turned it off for the podcast. She's doing good. We're going to get her in the yard with Rooster today. I don't know how that's going to go because Rooster has treats everywhere buried. She might be a little nervous with you coming in there. I don't know. Are you sleepy? Because you're nocturnal now. Yeah, you out there hooting all night. It's it, nothing. Yeah, you, she's trying to like take on the job of watchdog, I guess. But she's been, she's doing well. It's been about twelve days since Waldo passed, and I just took out his bed. That was hard to do. Took out his bed, and you got his bowl. I took your bowl away, and you inherited Waldo's because he left that for you in his will. He did. And he left you the other bed, but he says, I got to put it away so you don't tear it up. And then when you wear this one out, you get it, right? We got to get you some of that shampoo that's waterless because you stink. You stinky. Yeah. All right. She's just a lovable girl. Yeah, she's doing all right. She's just, uh, she's doing things different. You know, she's out there all night now, and she sleeps all day. She just doesn't know. She's just making her own. She's never been alone. She's not going to be alone. And I don't know that she'll, I don't know how she's going to do if, with Rooster in the house. I don't know. We're going to find out, but we're doing this slow. Get Roo her in used Rooster's yard. Uh... I may let Rooster run in the big yard. I just, I have to control the situation. I got, I got to keep them close where I can get to them if Rooster starts trouble. She may be irritated with Rooster. Who knows? Or they may just get along fine. The initial meeting went well, but they were, you know, they were too busy investigating the surroundings. They weren't really paying too much attention with each other. Yeah, Millie came home. Yeah, woke up, Millie was gone. Millie, <laughs> she goes out to the ditch in the front yard. That's where they go to the bathroom, man. I, I didn't even train them to do that. Didn't have to. That's good. I was wondering where they went. Because I don't ever step in no poop out there. That's where sister went. But she is running, running this morning. She's doing fine. She's got arthritis. I got CDB oil coming for her. She's going to get some in her food every day. That stuff works miracles on dogs. And it's also, I don't know, they say it's good if they're like afraid of gunshots and fireworks. And I tried that on Wally. Wally was just terrified of thunderstorms and, and gunshots and the jets. It never really worked good on him, but Waldo hurt his leg. I gave him nothing else. The vet wouldn't do anything for him, so I gave him some of that, and man, within a week, he was pretty much back to normal. You remember that? When brother hurt his leg and I had to build the ramp into the doghouse. You remember that? Yeah. He didn't like going to the doctor. He had to spend the night. He was mad at me for a month. You're just being lazy. You're supposed to be on the podcast, you. Should I get you riled up like, Witty bitty baby. I got you when you was a witty bitty baby. Yeah, that's Miss Lily. I could have brought you in the podcast studio, but I don't have a chair that'll get you up to the microphone. I don't. She's a good girl. Daddy's got to get out there and, and whack some more weeds down today. But he's got to wait till they bring in the sheaves over there at the church. Yeah, I can't be out there during the church services. But with the temperatures cold in the morning, hell, I don't get out of there. I don't get out there till 10, 11 o'clock anyway. It's not bad. I like this time of year. You do, don't you? Well, I think you're losing weight on that new food. What do you got all stickies on you? 
What is that? You just lay in the weeds. Let me get that sticker off you. But you ain't hardly got any long fur short. Well, I gotta get it. Yeah, I think she's going to be fine. This dog has never, ever shown any kind of aggressiveness. Nothing. She just growls at, she growl at Waldo once in a while and Waldo was irritating her. But never did anything. But she'd let him know, it's time to quit messing with me, boy. That boy. Yeah. You're just sleepy. But she's loving all the... I, w I wouldn't say, yeah, she's getting extra attention. But I always come in here a couple, several times a day. This chair's always been in here. You know what? You know what we got room for now? A recliner. I could bring a recliner in here. So the plan is probably to just introduce them slowly. And then finally bring her in the house, but... She, I don't think she's going to like it in there. We'll, we'll see how that goes, but I know I used to bring them in the fifth wheel when I had the fifth wheel, when I, before I had the house ready. She did not want to be in there very long. None of them actually did. Uh, but we always got this room. She could come out here at night. It's no big deal to heat and air condition this. And she could come in there whenever she wants. She can hang out in the yard. I'll, I'll leave the gate open between the two yards and these two could play. I mean, that's all she needs is companionship, you know. And I think if she gets that, that's fine. Because I do not want her just being by herself like this. But I wanted to give her time to get over Waldo's passing. Uh, dogs do grieve. And she's still... Still missing him. I think that might be part of the reason she stays out all night. She might be looking for him. Uh, I don't know. But I don't want to throw those two together when she's, her emotions are different. You know, you, that, that's not good. The other dogs, they don't seem, you know, they, were, they weren't in here with Waldo. So they don't know any better. Uh, but this one was. Wouldn't you? Are you snoring? Give me this pig ear. Give me this pig ear over here. Here. I'm putting them in my pocket. Oh, I don't have a pocket. Throwing them in the corner. Your pig ears. Give me them. I do this to Tilly. I'll grab her ears and I'll have a pocket shirt and I'll put them in there and she's sniffing. She thinks I really got her ears. So for dinner they've been getting and it's expensive. Trust me. Let's see, last night they had ground turkey, they had ground beef, they had broccoli, and I mix in some eggs, and green beans. And everybody but Rooster eats the green beans, or the carrots, or the broccoli, but Rooster eats around it. That will be the only thing left on the plate. So now, I started, I gotta find something she likes, she's picky. But now I gotta just give her the meat. So before I add all that stuff, I get out Rooster's portion. You don't care. You eat it. You didn't eat all the green beans the other night. But if you chop the green beans, I don't like these green beans I got. But they're cheap at all these. But if you chop them up real good, they'll eat them. But if I, there's one laying on the floor over there about that long. You didn't like that, did you? But they'll eat it. You just got to make it taste good. I don't put salt or any seasonings in it. And they love it. They are eating everything. I still got a whole bag of dry left. Once we're through that, they're off the dry. But it is not cheap feeding four dogs like that. Not cheap at all. I'm spending a little more. You know, I just got to... I just got to figure it out and master the plan. Is this thing on? Yeah, I haven't used this mic in a long time. Yeah, you don't got no problem staying warm. Well, I got to go get another cup of coffee. So we're going to end the podcast. What you licking, your paw? You got, a, you got an itch nerve? Is that what that is? She's loving the attention, though. You always got attention. Yeah. 
All right, well, we'll keep it to a minimum. People are probably bored already, Lily. I got stuff to do today. I don't know what. We're going to cut some weeds down. Yeah, it looks awfully big in here without the other bed. But I got room to sit now. She never got in that once. She has not got in this bed once. This has always been her bed. You guys remember, Waldo always stole it. Yeah, and you got Waldo's blanket in there. Yeah, she's doing real good. It's really sad seeing, you know... Uh, it just hasn't hit me like it usually does. I think uh, it's a big part of that is because I was here with his last breath, you know. And I had a lot of good years with him. So that, that was part of it also. When you lose them when they're young, that's hard to deal with. Uh, you kind of feel to blame, you know, like his sister died at six and, and I just come out that morning to pass out milk bones and there she was. No idea what happened because I looked out my bathroom window around midnight. She was running around with Lily and they were both fine and, you know, don't know. Come out, she's there, she's gone. So I don't understand, and, and the vet said her, her stomach probably got twisted. That happens in dogs sometimes. Yours is too big to twist. Yeah? I love when people comment, Your dog needs to lose weight. You think? Yeah? That I don't know that? We're getting you there. We need to get a puppy dog scale. Do they make them? little harness to put you in and hang you from the ceiling and see how much you weigh. You wouldn't like that, would you? Yeah, you wouldn't like that. She's just the sweetest girl ever, though. Yeah. She's just always been, uh, the skit, you know, everything scares her. Nobody else could come in here and do this. She will not go to anybody. Nobody but me. And I've had her since she was about eight weeks old. Yeah, you came in a box with about, there was 14 of them all together. They were all the exact same size. But she was the only one this color. All the rest of them were black or they had black with white. Uh, but not Lily. She was tearing at the cage. It was a, a pet carrier. She was biting at the cage. She wanted out. So I picked her out. Put her on my desk at work, and the first thing she did, stuck her head in my iced tea cup. You know, I got those red cups. I think I still got that same cup, uh, Lily. She stuck her head down, didn't have anything in it, but she stuck her head down in it, and it got stuck on her head, and she raised her head up. She's got this cup. <laughs> That's because you're goofy. But she's always uh, been afraid of everything. You put a ceiling fan on or something like that. She just, she runs away. All right. I better get this edited so people can see you. Okay. <laughs> Give me this pig ear. Give me this pig ear. Throw it over there. She's just a good girl. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails.